Oh, yeah, we're here at the end of June, the time when high school graduates throughout the country leave school without a working knowledge of personal finance, economics, business, how to get a job. And I want you to consider what the major challenges facing society today are. Poverty, sustainability of government services, including health care, underfunded pensions, sovereign debt, joblessness, especially youth unemployment. All of these are economic and financial issues with social implications. Yet the educational establishment refuses to incorporate even a basic understanding into the school curriculum. As the new curriculum in B.C. and Ontario illustrates, hey, they got lots of time for the progressive left version of social justice. Fair enough. But they do it at the exclusion of any of these other subjects, like economics, business, the basics of how to get a job, entrepreneurship, finance. Personally, I just don't get it. Who specifically benefits from this? I don't get it because it's certainly not in the student's best interest. But let me go further today. Who does it hurt the most? Well, it's not my kids. They can get all the information on subjects like that and more than they want at home. Maybe your kids have that advantage too. But what about children where they don't have that support system at home? Where specifically are they supposed to get and learn about those subjects? Skills like entrepreneurship. It is a skill to get a job. It is a skill to handle an interview, let alone personal financial skills. Where are they supposed to get it if they can't get it at home? Because it's not going to happen in the media, especially when it comes to the basics of economics. So with that in mind, let me challenge one of the sacred cows of today's political world. I don't think it'll be popular, though. One of the badges of honors in the progressive left that dominates the school system, our politics, and the media is to to state one's great concern for income inequality. By the way, suggesting that income inequality is, is more important than abject poverty is one of the true signs of being middle and upper middle class with a sophomoric ideological worldview. But I'm not going to debate that. For me, the most important subject is poverty. I'll leave it for another day. Today, I'm going to play on their turf and say unequivocally that failing to specifically focus on preparing our children for the massive transformative changes in employment and personal finance and economics and finance, too, is perpetuating income inequality. It's one of the, well, they have an opportunity to change that. They don't take it. Public schools do not see preparing kids for getting a job or entrepreneurialism which I believe will be the pivotal skill in future employment, let alone the personal financial knowledge to help them survive. And forget about economics. After all, economics is dangerous to political agendas, but they're not getting it. They don't see that as part of their job. But the omission doesn't impact families that can fill in the gaps in learning and provide role modeling in work-related areas, which in turn raises the probability that those children will get good jobs. As I said, my own kids don't need school to teach them about any of that stuff. But there's no doubt that students, and many of them, don't have that advantage. They don't have that family support or role modeling, and they are at a big disadvantage because of it. So where do they go? How do they get the information? Well, in too many cases, they actually don't, which raises the probability of being at the low end of the income scale. Without the requisite entrepreneurial or technological or critical thinking skills, their opportunities are going to be listed, or limited, rather. Public education does not fill those gaps. It's not even on the agenda. And it's not a matter of cost. You know, with the I've got an idea. With the help of the brightest people in the country who'd be more than willing to help, and I know they would, I could put together a course on the job market, starting your own business, personal finance, economics. I mean, just look at what TED Talks has done or the Khan Academy and a huge variety of online learning programs that are very effective. My point is that there's no interest in teaching these things. Make no mistake, the dominant attitude in the teachers' union, school boards, Ministry of Education is anti-business, in some cases anti-capitalist. I see no indication that these people have the slightest idea as to what's going on in the economy or, more importantly, the job market. Why? Because their jobs are secure. They don't get it. What I'm pointing out is that students who suffer most from failing to include these kind of work-related subjects outside of specific industrial skill training, which they can get, are those who don't have ready access to other uh, resources to obtain the knowledge necessary to raise their chances of high-paying employment. That's the ones who suffer most. I'm not suggesting that the educational establishment in any way creates income inequality. What I'm saying, they're doing very little to change it.